Hello guys and welcome to another fragrance review. Now I haven't done a review in so, so long, so long. Um, yeah, but today I'm going to be, as you can tell, Versace The Dreamer. Now online it's called Dreamer, not The Dreamer. So I don't know if it's a reformulation, which I've heard is a reformulation. Um, yeah, so let's just crack on with this fragrance. Uh, let's talk about the box. As you can see, it's a nice blue box. It looks like it has stars on it with a nice gold, gold font. Impress, embossed font with a nice pattern going around it and at the bottom we've got just the barcode and whatever else that normally comes with fragrance. Now the bottle itself is beautiful, it's, it's clear, transparent, it's got some weird mark on it. It's transparent, it looks classy and the lid doesn't come off, a lot of people when I give it to them they tend to pull off the lid. It's beautiful, it's got this classic Versace head. This fragrance was launched in 1999. The main accords are aromatic, fresh, spicy tobacco, sweet floral, which I do smell floral. It smells like lavender um, with tobacco. And this is what caught me. Um, one reviewer on YouTube reviewed it and said there was tobacco note in it, and I love the note tobacco. Brilliant. So when I heard tobacco, I was like, I'm going to smell it. And then they said it's floral. So I was thinking, okay, so it's going to be light. But actually, it's not light. It's quite heavy. It's quite a sticky, sweet fragrance. And what sold it to me is I went into the shop to try it and I didn't like it at first. It has a weird synthetic vibe at the beginning, but you have to let it die down. The, trust me, the dry down is insane. Like, I love this. And the, for the price, it's so cheap now. You can you can find it in Beauty Base for £20. Um, I got this for £25 in Debenhams. They said it normally for 50 quid. So you do find a lot of deals on this one. So just shop around, buy online. You do find it for less than 25 guarantee. And you get 100 mil and it can last. Perfume was created for the romantic soul. Its beginning is sweet and the end is quite aromatic, living in a warm woody trail. Top notes include Clary, Clary Stage, Lavender and Mandarin, which I do smell lavender, uh, Geranium, Rose and Tobacco, which you do smell tobacco in the heart. Uh, it's heart ending with a trail of a cedar and tonka bean and the tonka is, oh, I love tonka bean. Just in this one is amazing. And it lasts, this fragrance projects and lasts because what sold it, when I bought it, I tried it, it was a bit sour at the beginning, I thought, oh, I didn't think much of it. I went to the till to buy something else, and the lady goes, oh, what fragrance are you wearing? And I went, oh, because the recent one I just uh, sprayed was The Dreamer. And I was like, oh, it's the Versace one I just sprayed over there. And I was like, okay, if she's giving me a compliment already, I was thinking, I have to buy it. So that, my sister bought me as a birthday present. Projection, as I said just a second ago, the projection on this beast, I can't explain it, it's beautiful fragrance. For a 1996 one, old fragrance is a very beautiful composition, very daring. You have to, want to smell different um, it's a very unusual mix I wouldn't consider mixing lavender with uh, lavender and tonka bean have been done before recently last year was with um, angel man pure tonka it has lavender strong lavender note and to uh, sorry tonka bean note which I love um, so this one done it way before like actually 20 years before pure tonka did and it's done in a different way it's more of a um, when I smell, I fl the flowers I smell is sort of like a white flower. I just smell white flowers. I don't know why that comes to my mind. And then you've got a tobacco leaf note in there, which is a nice, sweet, sharp note. Um, yeah, brilliant fragrance. For, for the price, you, you can't beat it. So go out and buy Versace The Dreamer. You can buy it anywhere. You can buy it online. Um, I thought it'd be hard to find, seeing as it's an older fragrance, but you do find them floating about. Um, I noticed with the older fragrances they don't smell as good as they used to smell. I don't know if that's just because of the aging process or the reformulation. And I'm sick and tired of saying the word reformulation because it's a shame when I smell a fragrance I'm like, oh, it's not the same as it should have been. Um, so, and it can be done. There is fragrance houses that change their fragrances but kept the same power of it. If you know what I mean, not changed it just to market it, to keep selling it. If you're gonna, if if it was me and I had to change a fragrance which was selling like mad hotcakes, I would take it off the market completely because what's the point of changing something so good and then selling it shit and then people are just gonna smell and go out and then completely ruin your reputation? Like Tom Ford, um, he's got good high reputation uh, reputation for his fragrances and I'm sure if he, I'm not saying he does, maybe he does reformulate and we don't know because sometimes they tweak things we don't know because you only buy one bottle, you don't buy so many and you smell every different bottles multiple times to smell it was until you finish the bottle but anyway thanks for watching this review and I will be doing more because I've got a new phone the Galaxy 8 and it does high 4k front facing recording as you can tell now it's probably I'm blinded by some bloody sunlight um, yes yeah, so I will be doing a Tom Ford extreme noir next 
Um, love that woody fragrance and subscribe and you know, smell you later.